Africa is a land filled with nature's vitality. I met the rich, natural environment and the beautiful people at the place where the borders of four countries meet. The world's largest inland delta, Okavango. It is a place of untainted nature and innocent people. Today's journey, filled with expectations and butterflies, begins at Okavango, the cradle of life. An explorer from England named Livingstone is famous for being the first European to discover Victoria Falls. There is another great discovery recorded in his Southern African expedition. It is none other than the Okavango Delta. The huge wetlands of the Kalahari Desert in Botswana make up the Okavango Delta. Today's journey begins in its Panhandle region. Located in southwestern Africa, the Okavango River is the fourth largest river in southern Africa. It originates from the highlands of Angola, flowing through Namibia to the Kalahari Desert in Botswana. It continues its long journey for 1,600 kilometers. However, the river did not flow into the sea. Rather, it created the world's largest inland wetlands. The Okavango Delta is known as the jewel of the Kalahari. It acts as an oasis in the harsh and arid desert of Botswana. It rains in Angola three times a year. The huge amount of river water flows into the delta, creating an overflow. This panhandle region is the starting point. The change in seasons and climate causes severe differences in the volume and flow of the water. So this is where they check the water level. But now is the water is not higher. No, it's down now. Down now. Yeah. When is it up? Uh, when March. In March. Yes. By now it is 0 0.558. It's going up to 5 point something meters. What does the wetlands of the Okavango look like? So what do you call the, the ship? Uh, the, the boat? Sh the ship. Uh, it's known as Mokoro. 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 Mokoro is Botswana's traditional boat made out of wood from sausage trees or ebony trees. It is made by carving one whole tree. It's big stick, only one? Yeah, this is the pony stick that we use, only one, yeah. This pole, wow. Yeah. This is for jumping, huh? Here is the Okavango Delta. 유명하게 만든 여러 개 중에 하나인 습지지대예요. 여기서 이제 저는 어, 모코로라는 여기, 여기 사람들이 타는 전통적인 배를 타고 습지대를 한번 들어가 보려고 해요. 보통 예전부터 이 사람들은 이것을 이제 운송 수단으로 많이 이용했거든요. 우기 그러니까 물이 완전히 찼을 때는 길이 완전히 사라지니까. This sleek and long boat is perfect for navigating through the wetlands narrow waterway. 지금부터 습지대를 한번 탐험해 보도록 하죠. Hey. Yeah, just sit there then you yeah. turn around. 
Like this? Okay. Padahal ya mungkut tuh. Okay, like this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the world's largest inland delta, Okavango. When the dry season changes into the rainy season, the level of the water rises. Oh, this is the, the main river. Mm that uh, gives all the channels that are here some water. But for now it is our dry season, so mm. we have got a shortage of water. Unlike three weeks back, uh, it used to be few water that we have here, maybe one meter deep. Oh, really? And after that three weeks, we had a lot of rain in the delta, mm -hmm. then it fills up again. Mm. So which means we are going to get our new water around May or June. May and June. Somewhere there, yeah. That's when we're gonna have uh, the new flood coming from Angola. Mm -hmm. And all the delta will be flooded with the water. Uh -huh. The river water spreads into the channels and creates the deep marshes and pools. The wetlands become a sea of lotus flowers. The somewhat noble figure gives off a mystical aura. How happy people here must be for being able to see such a beautiful sight every day. The Okavango Delta is what I mean in your life. Oh, Okavango Delta say it's quite a beautiful area. We have got everything. We have got all natural uh, plants that we can feed on. We have got figs that we can feed on. We have got all fishes around this area. We have got water. We have got animals in this place. And uh, so tourists are coming. That's our job that we do really into this de delta. The Okavango embraces countless lives. What does Okavango look like underwater? Visible through the sunlight, the world of the clear and transparent water is just incredible. Okavango Delta를 가장 풍요롭게 만드는 첫 번째 힘이 바로 이 물이에요. 쫙 위에서부터 흘러내려온. 일리 하나 한번 이렇게 확 넘칠 때 모든 자연이 살아난대요. I can feel the tranquility given off by the cradle of life through my entire body. Yeah, because it is very deep and open, so mm -hmm. crocodiles prefer open areas and where it is very deep. So, in, in inside now? In, in the water. In the water. Yeah. Oh, it's here. It's like a bird. Oh, it's a scare, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to be scared of putting your hands into the water. Ooh. In there, we got so many things that live in the water that are dangerous. We got snakes, we got hippos, we got crocodiles, we got vegetation that might scratch your hands or your feet. So please, do not put your hands into the water while the mokoro is going. Okay, okay, okay. I see. 
<웃음> 이 얘기 들으니까 이제 이것도 못하겠다. <웃음> 아... The water doesn't flow into the sea, but the oak of Ango brings water to the desolate land and creates the giant wetlands. There are about 40 species of mammals, 400 species of birds, 95 species of reptiles and amphibians, and 70 species of fish in this cradle of life. People who settled this place long ago cannot leave due to its abundance. Delta A river of miracles, the Okavango. It is the river of life that wets the dry land. There are many tribes that inhabit the Okavango Delta. The Hambukushu tribe that lives maintaining its unique culture is one of them. The traditional houses built inside the square-shaped fences look like a scene out of a fairy tale. It looks very peaceful. A matriarchal society remains in the Hambukushu tribe, so the women are responsible for the family's livelihoods. Most of them farm or fish. Papyrus and reeds that grow in the wetlands are very useful plants for their lives. They used to build fences around houses or used to thatch a roof over the small hut made of mud. But that's not all. They also make baskets with the papyrus and reeds. <laughs> the Hambukushu tribe is famous for their craftsmanship, especially their basket weaving. The elaborately made baskets are said to be their main source of income. <laughs> They give me a gift for coming a long way. <laughs> Most of the baskets are made to be sold to tourists, but they are still essential tools that can't be taken away from their lives.
Making the baskets requires sophisticated techniques. They give the plain basket its color and pattern, as if doing embroidery. They say it takes as long as one month to make just one basket. I tried to learn how to make them. It must seem strange for them to see a man doing a woman's job. It would probably take me over a year to make a basket with my skills. <laughs> it's a warm scene to see all of the women gathered under the shadow of the tree. Just then, a few ladies appear with large baskets over their heads. Is this basket used to block the sun? It looks too heavy to wear it over your head. There was another use for these baskets. <laughs> we go to a marsh nearby, but the basket is so big that it might catch people before we catch any fish. The traditional method of fishing here is to find a good place to place the basket and then attracting the fish like this. I was curious whether fish would get caught, but it does work. They move their legs without rest. It seems like they're just having fun in the water, but it's quite a difficult task. Fishing is one of the family's main sources of income for the Hambukushu tribe. It mainly takes place between October and December. It is difficult to catch fish when the water level of the river is too low, like now, and when the water level is too high during the rainy season. It is a difficult time to fish right now. My day at the Okavango comes to an end. Go, go,
잡고 얘기하고 잠깐 정 들었다고 저녁 먹고 가래요. <웃음> 고기도 못 잡았는데 무슨 걸 주실까 궁금한데. <웃음> 안녕하세요. <웃음> 마당에 부엌이 있어요. 음식 준비하시나 보다. They spend most of their time outside, with sleeping as the only exception. This is their staple food, called saja. They boil the cornmeal in water, and it looks similar to Korean white rice cakes. Ah, it's a good thing. How are you? How does the Hambu Kushu tribe live when the water floods during the rainy season? <웃음> <웃음> 전라도 음식과 경상도 음식이 조금씩 다른 것처럼. 음식과 경상도 음식이 조금씩 다른 것처럼. The village has no electricity. I was not able to enjoy the conveniences of civilization, but I could feel the bond with the people. I was grateful for the meal, but they even gave me a place to sleep since it had gotten late. This is where I'll be staying tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. I found a special relationship while walking along the road. It's been a while since I had a comfortable night's sleep. The next day, I leave the Hambukushu village filled with warmth behind me and head to the forest in the Okavango Delta. The people here are busy working on something. What are they collecting? Yeah, they're collecting a pani. Pani? Yeah. It's like a worm. Ah, yeah, it's like a worm. Is yeah. Ah, 여기가 그 모판이라 그러죠? 여기 사람들이 이렇게 애벌레를 잡아서 말려서 먹는 우리나라 뻔. 오, 요거구나. 오. This large caterpillar called Mopani is commonly found not only in Botswana but in other parts of southern Africa. It's said to be a very popular snack here. So the people are hard at work collecting them. During time, like, it's just becoming during on November. Mm. You'll see butterflies, there are a lot of butterflies. Yeah, yeah. you'll see butterflies coming. Mm -hmm. They just put eggs in the, the leaves. Achha, yeah. Mm. After that, some three to two, two weeks, it became small pani until it just become like this. Mopani tree leaves are high in protein, and many wild animals are said to feed on it. These caterpillars like it too. There are several of them hanging on one leaf. I saw many Mopani trees while traveling around the Okavango, but this is something I didn't notice before. 
저기 아까 이렇게 지나갈 때는 몰랐는데 이걸 알고 이 나무들을 보니까 여기도 있고 저기도 있고 막 군데군데 다 있네. The people working here are so good at finding mopanis in the trees. I try catching one. You make fire, then, fire? You, yes. then you take this one without stools inside, and you put in a pot, eh? then put water, then take salt and put it... Salt? Like salt, yes. yes. Then that is going to boil, 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 until it's going to be ready. You take it outside the pot, mm -hmm. then you take that panel, you dry it on the side. 아, 말려서 말려서 먹는 거구나. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The first thing they do after they catch mopanis is to take out the guts. 아우, 뭐 많이 나온다. 아우. They do this in order to get rid of the bitter taste of the mopani tree leaves. 한번 해 보자고. 이렇게 잡아서 head here. 머리 잡고 이렇게 쭉 잡아서 눌러서, let me try, let me try. Mm. 아따가. 이렇게 밀어서. So, 응. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. <웃음> 뭐 한번 경험이라는 게 해보니까 뭐, 아, 이만 할수 있겠구나는 생각이 드는데, 그만해도 되죠, 이제. <웃음> 아! <laughs> make dry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh the Mopanis are completely dried under the sun for two to three days. They just eat it like this, fry it, or make a salad. Mopanis, rich in protein and fat, is a popular snack enjoyed by many people in southern Africa. How does it taste? Mm. <laughs> it's nice. Mm. 메뚜기 먹는 기분인데? 음. 끝. It's nice. 먹어보니까 맛있는데요? Let's go to get collect more. Okay. <웃음> 잠깐만. 하나 더 먹고. <웃음> It's good for the body, so I grab another one. The green leaves of the Mopani trees embrace another abundant thing of the Okavango Delta. The forest road located in the eastern part of the Okavango Delta leads to the Moremi Game Reserve. It is a national park that houses many African wildlife. This Okavango Delta is a fried pan. I am on my way to meet some wild animals. The rainy season has come, and the abrupt rainfall does not make it easy to pass through. 곳곳이 물운동이 그래가지고 갈때 지금 엄청 운동을 치고 있거든요. 가다가 길이 운동이가 돌아가고 또 운동이도 돌아가고 돌아가고 아 이것도 만만치 않구나. 
We barely get through the rough road. Just then, our guide gets an urgent radio call. My heart begins to beat faster. Oh no, the lions are over there. Will I be able to see the lions of the wild? I turn my head restlessly to spot the lions. Over there, there are lions. The lions are taking a break under a tree. I can feel their dignity as the king of the animals. I'm not allowed to go off the road, so we do it first and then we go. I rush to take photos after the guy warns us. When will I even get another opportunity to see lions in the wild? The lion suddenly jumps up. It's a volatile situation. After turning around with disappointment, I can take a breath of relief. A wild world created by the Okavango Delta. It is an oasis and the final resting place for thirsty wildlife. After hearing the great sound of the huge wetlands created by the Okavango River, I continue on my way. Is it tiger fish? <laughs>